hey, I'm in a restroom, <laughs> and this is a good place to demonstrate uh, the whole idea of the mirrored reality. So in front of me is a sink and a mirror, so now I'm going to just simply put my hand in front of the mirror. Okay, now which one is real? The one that you see? Or the one that's attached to my body? Okay? So reality is mirrored by the demonic forces and creates a reflection. It's not really real, but you think it's real. It might be likened to the idea of uh, the uh, Plato's cave, whereby they're, they're chained and they're all looking at a wall and behind them is a fire and passing over the fire are images and it creates a shadow on the wall and because they've been chained their whole life all they see are shadows they never actually encounter reality until one of them escapes the cave and goes out into reality and starts yelling you're looking you're looking at shadows you're looking at a mirror and of course they don't believe them. So they don't really believe you and they don't believe me uh, because they're so engrossed in the mirrored reality. Okay? The reflected reality. And it's not really real because it's created by those who have the plagues, the Masonic plagues, the ones who are involved highly in the occult. They know all about it and they create them and they basically laugh at you. And they laugh at me because we're always trying to touch that mirrored reality and we're always insisting these things are real, these things are real. And anybody that's talking to you like I'm talking to you, well, he's just insane. He, he belongs in an insane asylum. He's psychotic. He needs a psychiatrist. So anyhow, that's a little bit of the idea of the mirrored reality. You can either live in the mirror if you want, or you can live in real life. It's up to you. Think about it. Get out of the mirrored reality and try to pay attention to folks who really sound crazy. Maybe they're not crazy after all. Maybe everyone around you is in the mirrored reality. Thank you for watching. End of video.